Okay, so uh, the word that's been around so far this week, bearing in mind that it's only Thursday and I've got a hectic day tomorrow and Saturday, but the word that keeps popping up to so far is control, which is really important. <laughs> I like to listen to themes and, and, and sometimes it's as if something's in the air and that word, that feeling of control has been definitely been around this week for me and the people that I'm working with. And it's really important, it's a really important word because as human beings, we like to feel that we're being in control. And if we're not in control, that's when we get scared. That's when uh, we start to get angry, we get scared, um, we attack, um, we get frustrated, all of those things. A guy called Stephen Covey, uh, he's written a book years ago now um, called The Seven Habits of Highly, Effectual Pe Highly Effective People. Um, I've probably got that name wrong now. He's a little... <laughs> but he basically says uh, about one of the things he talks about is a circle of influence. Uh, and he says um, that he's, he's done a picture with two circles, one inside the other. And basically what he said, we've got a circle of influence and an outer circle of things that we can't influence. If we concentrate on the things that we can't influence, we get really frustrated. That's why it's important to know, of, know when to let go of things. You know, say, for example, a lot of people don't like Donald Trump. You know, I can't influence Donald Trump in any way that I know of, but I can influence myself and I can influence the things that are going on in my life. If I concentrate on the things that I can influence, then that my circle of influence gets bigger and my circle of things that I can't influence actually gets smaller. But it also works in reverse. If I'm concentrating on things that I can't influence, that circle gets bigger and my circle of influence gets smaller. So what I'm saying here, the reason I've called this let go is because you know, we need to look at what we can control and what we can't control. Um, hi Darren, he said hello, hi Darren. Um, so like I said, that's what's been around for me this week and even me, I've got some stuff going on at the moment, I'm trying to help somebody that's really close to me um, and I just, I can't get through to them and I'm finding myself getting really frustrated um, and then I've realized it's because, you know, that I can't control this person. I can't make them do what I want them to do, even though I think that's in their best interests. Uh, they won't do it. Um, and, I, and, I, and I have to check myself and realize that's why I'm getting frustrated. This goes on in relationships, people trying to control each other. It can be really subtle, but it's going on. It goes on in uh, personal relationships, working relationships, people trying to take control. And that feeling of not being in control can be really scary, which is why we try and control other people. If you're the type of person that's con that likes to control other people, then you need to look at that. Why do you feel the need to control people? Uh, it's normally come because you're coming from a fearful place. If you let go of the feeling of having to control, what would happen? What are you scared of? Uh, if you're the type of person that feels that you're being controlled, then, you know, again, why are you allowing that to happen? Um, I was talking to a guy today, I was trying to help, and we were saying about how sometimes we get comfortable in our discomfort, you know. On the level that he was on, he felt comfortable. Even though it was uncomfortable for him, he could control it. He wants to step up to another level, but that means stepping into the unknown. It's scary. But that means stepping into uncertainty. But if we don't do that, we're never going to grow. You know, we have to, sometimes we just have to step into uncertainty. Thing that helps me with this is faith, knowing that I'll always be all right because I've always been all right. Even when things go wrong, I'm not. I'm all right. Um, so that helps me. So, like I said, the message here uh, is: as human beings, we don't like uncertainty. We crave certainty. But the only way we're going to grow, the only way we're going to make changes in our lives, is to step into uncertainty. I don't know any other way around it. So, like I said, it's known what to let go of and when to let go and letting go of control is really scary but it needs to be done uh, and that's the message for today hopefully i'll speak to everybody soon hopefully everybody's okay um, i'm thinking about maybe getting some courses together where people can get together and we can do maybe a day's training or something if people are interested but again thanks for your feedback thanks for coming on the site uh, put your own thoughts on here as long as they help the site i don't mind Okay, thanks everybody. Have a good evening.